that Israel is prepared to change the realities in the Middle East and that Israel is prepared to make concessions even if these are painful concessions. Everyone can go for it, but this is a reality. We don't, we can't. I'm here actually to talk about what are relatively complex issues, and I'm here to tell you that I don't think complex issues can be solved by booing the former Prime Minister of Israel. <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you know, it's so Whoa. easy to laugh, and uh, you know, I, I, I have to tell you, this, the audience here today is not helpful in resolving complex and serious issues. So. Yeah, you're proving my point. You're proving my point. You are part of the problem, not part of the solution. I need to catch my breath for a second because I was just told by uh, Professor Dershowitz that he doesn't care what I have to say or what anybody here thinks. And, um, you know, it's very nice to come in here and, and smack down your audience. I guess you do that you know, when you, when you debate Jimmy Carter, I'm sure. You know, I mean, come on, come on. That's, that's really, uh, you know. As that's, you know, Jimmy Carter won't debate me. That's really, but you really want to talk to him. You don't want to talk to Jews who support Israel, who love the Jewish state, but you want to talk to Jimmy Carter who accuses us of being an apartheid state. Shame on you, shame on you. I don't want to talk to people who boo the Prime Minister of Israel, that's right. Oh yeah, that's what you don't want to do. That, that's what it is, that's your litmus test. Come on, come on, be serious here. If you want to say that people who devote their lives to defending the Jewish state are illegitimate voices, then what do I care what you Not have to say? You just said that everybody who disagrees with you here shouldn't be asked to give their view. And I just don't understand how somebody who has made his career out of defending free speech could be so nasty to people who disagree with him. Look. And disrespectful. If, if, I'm happy, I'm happy to sit on a panel with you and have respectful disagreement. I think I didn't booing, respect I her. think booing the prime minister and I think booing ideas instead of responding to them shows the kind of disrespect that I don't want to be part of. I have to so tell you- So you're part of an even greater disrespect. A Couple of years ago, there was a speech, I uh, just have to say this, in Florida, 2,000 Jews were listening and, and Debbie Wasserman Schultz got up and she said something positive about the President of the United States and about 100 Jews booed. And the uh, Herald, I know, and the Herald, uh, the Miami Herald was going to write an article. They had it already written, the headline, Jews Boo President. I get up and I said, no matter what your views are, do not boo the President of the United States. And I got a standing ovation from 2,000 Jews, and the story went away. So if you have a hundred foolish people who persist in booing instead of expressing their ideas, I defend your right to do it, but I defend my right to tell you what I think of you, and it's not much. Those of you who are booing do not represent American Jews. American Jews voted 72% for Barack Obama. You do not represent... You do not represent Israeli Jews. They overwhelmingly want a pragmatic two-state solution. You fortunately speak for yourselves, and that's all, and no one is listening.